Thank you guys so much for, for having me. Uh, my name is, hi, my name is Maggie. Um, I am almost an architect. I am an architectural designer uh, for a firm here in Reno. Um, and so I work for TSK Architects. And um, I've actually uh, been interested in architecture since I was about, I think, 16 years old. My parents were remodeling the house. So there was just a lot of construction going on. And I thought it'd be something really interesting to learn more about. Um, I'm going to try to put something up here on screen so you don't just have to stare at my face this whole time. Um, I'm gonna, I actually have a video of one of the projects that I'm currently working on with TSK. And um, I think the video actually came out pretty well. So let me just pull that up. All right. Um, so I just figured I could have this running while I was uh, talking a little bit. So um, just a little intro on this video. So um, our current project for TSK, our biggest one is um, a new middle school um, in Reno. It's called the O'Brien Middle School. And so uh, this here is a little animation that our studio put together. Um, and so it's a bit of a um, compilation of different stuff that I've worked on from drawings and um, early design. Um, the original building, as you can see, was actually opened in 1976, but we decided the building was no longer healthy or safe for the students. So that was something that we were trying to work on was making something, you know, cost effective, but also overall just uh, a much um, better space for students. Um, so my job is primarily in design. Um, so I help um, people go from ideas to a functional space. Um, and so uh, one really, um, big aspect of uh, that we wanted to fix from the old uh, middle school was that the entry um, is actually right off the highway. So as soon as you get off the highway, you're immediately in a school zone, which especially for, um, you know, an elementary or a middle school is not relatively safe. So we tried to pull the entry as far away from the um, busy road as possible. Um, so one thing that I get to do with my job is that I get to uh, make some of the graphics, like the ones you see on the wall over there. Um, I help pick out the type of bricks that are on the walls, um, as well as the layout of where buildings are and where different room spaces are going to be. Um, currently in our office in Reno, we have about nine employees. Um, our company actually has offices in, um, I'm not sure, um, okay. Um, so we have, um, we have offices actually in Reno, Henderson, um, and LA. And then we also actually have an office in Shanghai. So we do have some larger projects that are international, which are pretty exciting to work on occasionally. Um, I really like the smaller projects. My favorite types of projects are both educational and I'd probably say healthcare. I think they're more like a puzzle. And I think that that's really fun to try to fit all the pieces together. Um, just going through this list. But uh, I think what I love about my job is that um, it's never the same thing twice. Um, there's always a new kind of space or a new kind of problem to sort of solve. Um, a lot of people think that architecture is just uh, a lot of math. Um, and it's not to say that, you know, math is not important, but um, I, I was much better at geometry than I was at algebra. And I think that it was much more about the um, way of visually solving problems. Um, so that was, that was pretty exciting for me to find out that there was a, a place that I could kind of figure out how to make all my skills work together there. So I'm not sure if anybody has any uh, questions or um, anything so far based on any of the images that you guys have seen, but I'd um, love to hear any uh, feedback that you guys have. I know it's a little early, but <laughs> I appreciate you guys listening. I guess I have um, one other thing that I thought was pretty cool. Um, so one thing that also really got me into architecture was, um, you're gonna laugh, um, I played a lot of Assassin's Creed in high school. Um, and I really loved the idea that um, we could take, uh, you know, the built environment and turn it into a game. So there's actually several architects that have worked on that project. And um, I'm not sure, uh, well, through the whole company, but I'm not sure if you guys uh, know about it, but the uh, um, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris that uh, unfortunately burned. Um, Assassin's Creed made a game called Unity, and in that they actually used drones and different types of uh, 
cameras to be able to fully um, recreate the church inside the video game. So now the city of Paris is able to use all of that data to actually be able to recreate it as close to the original as possible. And it's thanks to video games. So an architect is not necessarily someone who just makes buildings, um, but there's actually a lot of really cool other pieces um, that you can go into and focus on. So I have a question on that. In terms of um, like the Swope Middle School, did you do an, an addition to it or what was that? Was it? So, so I didn't do Swope. We were doing O'Brien. Oh. Um, okay. Sorry, that just kind of auto played. Gotta love YouTube. So unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> so we did not do Swope. Um, there are a few different architecture firms in town that have been working on the middle school. So we've pretty much all been trying to come up with a, a prototype. So the idea is that you um, try to solve as many problems as you can the first time around, and then you are progressively making it more efficient and you're um, figuring out what pieces did and didn't work the first time. So uh, Swope we did not work on. Um, we have only worked on um, O'Brien uh, during this school cycle. It's pretty much one school per architecture firm just because they're such huge projects. Yeah. And when you said you're almost an architect, what does that almost mean? <laughs> kind of like education do you need for to become a actual architect and not just an almost? <laughs> uh, that's, that's a really great question. So um, to become an architect, you do need a, first a four-year degree and then a post-professional degree. So I have um, a Bachelor of um, Arts in Architecture, and then I have a Bachelor of Architecture. So that's a four-year degree in school, and then it's one additional um, year after that. Um, and then you need to um, work in a firm for a, between one and a half to um, two and a half years. It actually depends on um, which state you're in. So that gets a little, little fuzzy, but let's call it two years. Um, and then at that point, you are able to um, take uh, these exams that are required to be able to call yourself an architect. So that's why I'm an architectural designer. Um, I have not finished my exams yet, um, but I am, I'm almost done with them. So hopefully uh, next year I can come back and talk to your class and tell them all about how great it is to be an actual architect. So um, that's, uh, that's the goal here. So um, I like it because, you know, you keep learning uh, new and exciting things. There's always something different happening, but um that's, uh, that's kind of architecture in a really, really quick nutshell. So that's, uh, that's pretty much what I have. So. And where did you go for your degree in architecture? Um, so I actually, I grew up um, on the East Coast. So I went, I was in uh, North Carolina. So I went to the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, and then I went to North Carolina State. So to be an architect, you need a, a pretty specific degree to be licensed. Um, but I know a lot of people that um, I work with now that were able to get um, uh, kind of a lot of their initial classes um, in uh, more local colleges um, and more um, community-based um, educational programs, because I think we do actually have several um, architectural um, uh, design programs uh, in Northern Nevada. Um, and then after that, um, you would need to get um, at least that one year or the two years after at, from the um, accredited program. We have like this one accreditation board that sort of, you know, gives out the, the stamps that says, okay, you're allowed to go and stamp drawings and you know enough and you are going to make sure that people stay safe. So you, you mentioned a couple of degrees or a couple of programs as architect, Bachelor of Architecture and becoming an actual architect and architecture design, which you're doing now. What is the salary, if you don't mind us asking, between you? Um, so that, that's also going to vary a little bit, but I'm more than happy to talk about that. So normally when you start out, you can, um, people tend to make between, uh, it's a bit of a range because it kind of depends on which firm is looking for what at the time. Um, I think larger firms, especially firms that do a lot of uh, multifamily residential, that's where there's currently a lot of money. So think like, you know, apartment complexes and that sort of thing. Um, there's a lot more space to, you know, uh, um, to build in higher costs as opposed to where I do more public work. So public work, there isn't as much of a profit, but I, I like what I do more. So that's going to kind of depend. But I think right out of school, you could um, be making either between like forty five and $60,000. That said, um, when you're an architect, you're making closer to um, anywhere between, I want to say, I'm sorry, they're just like really large spans of numbers. You can be making anywhere between think 65 and if you are like a principal architect where you're further up in the firm um, you can be making 
120,000 or, or even more than that. So um, it, it really does depend on the, the type of work that you do and the type of firm that you're in. But um, there's, there's a lot of opportunities to, to kind of find your, find your niche and figure out what that's going to uh, mean to your, to your salary and your income over time. Hmm. I know some people in my classes had said architecture they were interested in. Is anybody in this class um, come back with their interest inventory and their match was architect, architect design, something like that? Yeah. Are you interested in pursuing that? Do you know if UNR has a program? Uh, UNR does not have the license program in our state. The The license program that we have right now is at UNLV. However, I believe that... Um, um, I'm trying to remember, um, there's a, there's a community college in Carson as well as I know, um, TMCC also has an architectural program, um, in case you, it was easier for you to stay local and then, um, move, uh, if you wanted to get, uh, the accredited degree afterwards. Um, and if it does come down to funding and whatnot, um, I'm also on the, um, the board for the. Uh, American Institute of Architects, Northern Nevada chapter, and we have uh, scholarships that we give out every year. So um, mm. we're always excited to help support people. So um, I'd be more than happy to make sure that you have my contact info after this, and we can make sure that anybody who's interested in anything like that has the opportunity to apply. Wonderful. That's awesome. Thank you, Maggie. You Any other questions? Anybody else in here interested in architecture? You're not going to hurt my feelings. If you also just want to talk about Minecraft, we can do that too, because you'd be surprised how many architects play Minecraft. Minecraft and just have a bunch of Legos on their desk. Like that's, that's one really neat thing. I like how many toys we get to have. Um, I was just realizing like on my desk right now, um, I've got Assassin's Creed like I had before, because that's just been a really big part of my career for some reason, you know, cause I'm an adult, which is great. Um, and then I have Bastion because that's, that's, um, I promise I have a real job and I don't just play with Legos all day. However, it is kind of fun that uh, the other people in my office also like to build things and, and play with stuff. So that's, that's been really exciting. <laughs> Any other questions, thoughts, comments? So we have a couple in here interested in architecture. Okay. Uh, I think I have your email because Mark, okay sent you and I emails together so I can um, pass that along to them. What was the place that has scholarships, Northern Nevada? Um, yes. So I think that um, technically it's the um, uh, AIA is the translation for American Institute of Architects and then Northern Nevada. Um, let me see if I can. Yep. So um, this here is uh, one of the websites that uh, for one of the groups that I volunteer with. Um, and so uh, the AIA is sort of um, basically if you're an architect or an associate architect or even just someone interested in architecture, um, there's a lot of uh, funding and aid and assistance available. And so this is our local chapter for it. Um, but I also do know a lot of people on a more national level. So um, basically we have a lot of uh, resources and different things to you know, look for. So we have scholarship opportunities up here um, under resources. So that's AI. AIANN.org. Um, and so you'll also be able to see a lot of the um, award winning projects. We do an awards um, night every year. It's actually coming up in November. We're very excited about that. Um, and then uh, once we announce all those, we get to announce some of our new um, scholarship winners for this year. So um, lots of stuff going on. And I know that there's a lot of people that um, would be more than happy to, uh, if anybody wants to tour an architecture firm and kind of see a little bit more day in the life sort of thing. Um, and I know that there's also some firms in Carson that I'm sure that I could reach out to if anybody was more interested in learning either about that or about engineering or construction. So um, pretty much anything that I can help out with, just let me know and I will do what I can to make it happen. Okay, anybody else? Questions, thoughts, comments, anything you didn't get on your Google form? No? All right, Maggie. Well, I think that's it. Thank you for coming today and spending some time with our class and teaching them a little bit about um, architecture, design and architecture. Well, thank you guys for having me. Thank you guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you.